Yokoso. I'm Peter Davison. I live in Japan in the Kansai area of Kobe. And these are my paintings and drawings. This is the Super Kitch series where I buy offcuts from a hardware store. And these objects here are plastic uh, fruit and vegetables that I buy from the 100 yen shops. And I've decided to make a series of gold plates and use layers of paint and put the plastic pears, apple, cherries, snow peas and build a selection of plastic fruit vegetables for the white gold plate eat your fresh fruit and vegetables. Around here... May I just ask why they're called Super Kitch? Why are they called Super Kitch? Oh, Super Kitch. Well, it's, Super Kitch is... It's a kind of beyond... It's like bad taste, but it's, it's not really... It's, 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 a, it's a bit more than just bad taste. It's, it's like you're trying to make an object out of very everyday objects and offcuts and make it into something interesting that goes beyond bad taste and I call that my impression and my belief is it's super kitsch. And around here, these are my pastel drawings. I have a little studio in Japan, small desk, and at night I sit down and I work on my pastel drawings. Just, they're still lives. Pastels, they're oil pastels. And then I make these abstract designs and shapes and textures. This is on Japanese washi paper. So that's where, and with pastel and uh, lead, different lead pencils. Further down here, as we go slowly, You've got some sculptures in the show too. Mm -hmm. The sculptures. Yeah, I'll talk to you. Okay. Look. Now, the sculptures come from, uh, the base that comes from the uh, hardware shop. They have these beautiful offcuts. I studied three years of sculpture at school and I bought this clay that dries firmly and I wanted to paint the figure but because the figures, in people are very hard models, are hard to get in Japan, I decided to make my own clay objects and start to draw them and make different shapes. You can see my finger marks in them. So you get that human quality about it and you get the fleshy quality about it. And I started to draw them and I start, you can see here the pen and ink and I, used to, I started to write painting notes. A morphs to shape human aesthetic taste is very wide, meaning that everyone has their own taste of what good and bad art is, and there's no, it's, it, no one controls it. So these were my markets, and you can see further markets down here. And it's what is, this one's interesting because of what is the ascetic truth? I'm also homage to blind men stroking the elephant and what they experience. There's a famous uh, ukiyo-e by the Japanese master Hokusai of 10 blind men stroking the elephant. And each one of their experiences was individual and also authentic to what they were experiencing and that was their truth. Thank you. And just finally, what's this uh, concept of delay? The delay? Oh, delay. Yeah. Now in delay, my belief, and I might be wrong and I might be correct, I don't know, but I believe that when you start a work, you put your first drawing mark down here. If I make this mark, that's the start of my work to the finished object, there's a period of space where we exist in, and that consists of the duration of mark, mark making, that could consist of 
getting up and going to get something to eat, a coffee. So between the first mark here and the in, that is a period known as delay for me. And there's a lot of influence that comes in that time in creating this image. And that's how I consider today. It's different to the duration of my art. Duration is the actual making of marks and objects and washes and certain changing is mark making and things like that. That's different. Delay is from here to the overall object and the influence that goes into that, that space. Thank you, Thank you. Peter.